Allergies and tinnitus. Why is it so important? Because actually the nose, the ears, the throat, the upper respiratory system, it's all connected. And tinnitus is a symptom that is going through the ears into the auditory pathway. But what happens when I blow out of my nose? Well, it impacts my ears and it sends this pressure into my ears. So if I have allergies, I may have congestion and I may have pressure in my head, in my face, in my ears, in my nose. Well, that can lead to changes in tinnitus, tinnitus perception, potentially even causing ringing in the ears. My name is Ben Thompson, audiologist with Tribal Health. I'm excited to talk about this topic. Before we get started, I'd recommend that you try a new project that I've been working on, which is called tinnitusquiz.com. By answering a few simple questions, you can understand how severe is your tinnitus and what is the next step on your journey to find tinnitus relief. It's something that I created, so I'd recommend trying it. Head over to tinnitusquiz.com to learn more. To understand the link between allergies and tinnitus, you must first understand what histamines are. Seasonal and environmental allergies trigger the body to release histamines, which are chemicals that try to remove allergens from your body. Histamines are natural chemicals in the body that attack anything that your body views as an allergen. While histamines are supposed to be helpful for your body, they can also cause symptoms such as increased blood flow, inflammation, and mucus secretion. This often leads to the familiar allergy symptoms of congestion, sneezing, runny nose, itchy eyes, ears, or throat. Depending on how your body reacts to these symptoms, it could be a mild experience of just having a runny nose or feeling stuffy, or it could be extreme allergies where you have to stay home and you're just bedridden. Histamines in your body, this kind of congestion, allergies, can indirectly lead to tinnitus. While you may be surprised by this, the good news is that the symptoms are typically temporary. So this kind of tinnitus, or if you have existing tinnitus, seasonal allergies or allergies, it could temporarily change your tinnitus, but that's not a permanent change. We already know that weather changes can occasionally affect tinnitus, and allergies often come with seasonal weather changes. It turns out that around 60% of those with nasal allergy symptoms also have ear related symptoms that are related to allergies. Those symptoms could present as fullness in the ears, feeling stuffy, changes to your hearing perception, itchy, swollen ears, or potentially hearing some ringing or buzzing or hissing in the ears. To know how allergies really affect tinnitus, we need to discuss the eustachian tubes. Everyone has these. If you blow out of your nose, you'll hear a popping of your eardrum, and that comes from pressure going in through the eustachian tube. Now let's put an image here on the screen of what is the eustachian tube. Eustachian tubes connect the middle ear area behind the eardrum to the back of the throat. Their default position is closed, but they open and close to ventilate the middle ear with fresh air. This important process equalizes the pressure in the middle ear with the pressure of the atmosphere outside of our head, and also helps to clear any fluid that the cells in the middle ear produce naturally. At times that eustachian tube can stop working or work incorrectly, and that's called eustachian tube dysfunction. Problems with the eustachian tube can happen after infection, cold, or allergies. And if there's a hard time to equalize that pressure, then what can happen is the middle ear or the area behind the eardrum can be filled with fluid or just feel clogged, blocked, or stuffy. And this is when you might feel like, oh, I just feel a fullness or a pressure in my ear. It, it hurts. So ear pain can also be associated with this. The primary way that you would develop changes to tinnitus as an effect of allergies is when the eustachian tube uh, limits your hearing slightly so that you're not hearing as much through your ear. And we know that even temporary hearing loss can create a temporary tinnitus uh, in the auditory brain. So that phantom sound that we're hearing is a direct relationship to the sound that's not coming in through the ear as well as before. Now, if you have fluid behind the eardrum from eustachian tube dysfunction, or if you have allergies that are leading to a significant hearing loss, then you may have even louder tinnitus. But try not to freak out, try not to panic because this kind of medical related tinnitus is curable in most cases and can be effectively managed when we treat your allergies. Research has also found a link between conditions like Meniere's disease, which is an, a rare inner ear condition that affects less than 1% of the population. But what the research has found is that symptoms like fluctuating hearing loss, fullness in the ear, dizziness or vertigo, tinnitus, which are related to Meniere's disease, that those individuals could have an increase 
prevalence of allergies as well. A study of 734 patients with Meniere's disease showed that 59% of them had airborne allergies and 40% had food allergies. Now, comparatively, those without Meniere's were only at 42% with airborne allergies and 25% with food allergies. So that means that in terms of raw percentage here, that the patients with Meniere's uh, were just more likely to have allergies related to airborne conditions like seasonal allergies or food allergies as well. There was also a formal literature review that looked at these two conditions, but it was not clear that there was this strong relationship. So there seems to be some evidence, but it's not strong enough to have uh, full conviction at this time. So can allergies cause tinnitus? Well, yes, allergies can definitely cause new or exacerbate a person's existing tinnitus. However, the fortunate thing is, as I said, this is usually temporary and will resolve within a few days. There are many treatments for allergies, including over-the-counter antihistamines, home remedies, keeping away from dust, preventing mold, using air filters. If your symptoms don't resolve within a few days, whether that's tinnitus, ear pain, ear fullness, allergies, stuffy, then it's recommended to see a physician like an ENT doctor for evaluation. These days, there's even allergy specialty clinics that are very you know, comprehensive with their care. If your tinnitus lasts longer than a few days, then it may be something more serious. And if your ENT doctor has ruled out a medical cause or something medically wrong, then we may be dealing with more of a neurological tinnitus that our team at Trouble Health specializes in. So if you're looking for relief from tinnitus, please feel free to reach out to our team. We have expert audiologists who can help provide care and guidance on how to find relief from tinnitus. There are real solutions out there, so keep your hope and definitely reach out to us over a telehealth consultation to see if we can help. As I said earlier, I have this new project called the Tinnitus Quiz. If you'd like to get that free assessment, head over to tinnitusquiz.com or follow us here on YouTube to stay connected. My name is Ben Thompson, and this video has made me want to go out and smell some flowers, but hopefully no allergies as a cause of that. Thanks, guys.